What's going on guys, your boy Maze, we're back with another video, and in today's video guys, we're we'll going over the Bird Demonic Beast battle and showcasing Yuri Jihad. Now, for you guys wondering, in this video, we are not using the Miguelda on this fight, guys, because I wanted to show you guys how strong Yuri's support is without any other additional support. And so we're rocking Yuri on this team setup right here, where we're rocking her with the LR Escanor, Roxy, and also Rudius. Now, uh, for this lab right here, instead of Rudius, if you don't have him, um, you could run free Levi from the uh, AOT collab, I think he'll do pretty Pretty good too uh, but i decided to bring rudy as just for the extra damage he can do on a single target and in general like this is all about just dealing damage and not taking damage with this team and uh, that was kind of the idea we were going for here guys so this is the setup we are running the attack related cards as well uh 15 percent uh, attack related stats when all allies in the demonic beast are of the same race so because we have the full same race here we are able to just uh, kind of breeze through this fight very very easily and uh yeah i mean attack crit on escanor attack crit roxy Attack her Rudius and then uh, triple defense uh, Yuri actually just so she gets targeted, right? Because we want her to be targeted of all the characters. Um, since these are going to be the main DPS characters, uh, Yuri is going to be uh, kind of just be there just to support the team. So that's kind of the idea, guys. So if you guys enjoy videos like this, man, definitely make sure to like and subscribe yes sir uh definitely do appreciate all the support guys on the channel and uh, if you guys like these yuri showcases i like them too you know i've been having fun uh, messing around so here we go guys we got the video and uh i literally recorded this right before the reset too like so um yeah you guys can see 28 minutes before the reset right now on the game it is three minutes before reset so you guys can see right um so let's hop in though guys and let's talk about how we actually went about the fight here so yeah i mean most of this fight though guys as you can see the video clip in, in total is only nine minutes so you guys know that this was a very very fast run right because all it was was just every single turn we're getting a kill guys it's like really no issues with this fight and uh, you guys will see actually going throughout the fight here that we don't need miguelda anymore guys we are not using miguelda any longer we have leveled up so uh, now we're only using the uh, human team now so Right, there we go for the Yuri single target. As you guys can see, she does crit a good amount, and that's going to do the extra damage because of Roxy passive. Roxy's going to go for the AoE, and that actually does finish it off right there, guys. I did not expect that. That was a lot of damage right there, right? Um, and bear in mind that Roxy only does the extra damage for people that are attacking with single targets. So when Roxy, uh, you know, does that AoE card right there, that's just the raw AoE damage. No extra additional damage, guys. So that's, like, pretty insane, right? So I was, like, kind of shocked. And, uh, yeah, I mean, Ascanor here... 212k on the on the uh ignite card not even the other card right it's pretty insane and then the uh, elegant blow card boom 659,000 damage guys like this is bear in mind this is no miguelda like i'm not i'm not running miguelda here guys there's no all stats bonus and, and look how fast this team is as well it's just a very very fast team man and honestly after you know kind of testing this team and uh, when i do upload the deer video as well um i've pretty much gotten the the idea now that yuri is one of the best supports in the entire game honestly in in the entire game i'm i'm being you know pretty much like i'm i'm saying like of all the characters in the game she is up there in the top five easily i don't know what the what the top five would be support wise but the fact that she's giving the 20 percent basic stats and we're able to deal this much damage with this team i mean you know yuri yuri's doing a lot man and i mean that that's really good um, so right here, guys, we actually just go for all these single target cards right here. And, and bear in mind, this is the final phase of the bird. Floor one, by the way. Floor one of final phase of the bird. And look at that. Look at that. We're doing damage cap with Escanor and Rudius in them, right? Like, that's crazy. And then, obviously, guys, subscribe to Amazing for more Grand Cross videos. Yes, sir. I, I don't know why they popped up in the middle of the video, but uh, it was there. So, yeah, there you guys go, man. Floor one. Look at that. Two minutes and 27 seconds on the video recording. Look how fast that was, man. That's insane. I'm shocked how fast I actually did clear because it was one turn every single turn, and we didn't take damage, guys. No damage was taken throughout that entire phase of the fight. Like, think about that. Isn't that crazy? Like, no damage, bro. And the reason why we're taking no damage is because uh, Yuri's given enough stats to the team that so that they can do enough damage themselves. So, obviously, we don't have to, you know, kind of worry about that anymore. So, that's really good. So right here we do the uh, Roxy AoE, and I wanted to save the single target last with Roxy just to finish off the fight, because um, I know that like on the second phase and, or the second floor and the third floor, um, we're gonna need a lot more damage, guys. We're gonna need a lot more, right? So the single target for Roxy right there, boom. The additional damage after the initial hit does get the kill right there, and now we actually move into phase two of floor two, guys. And now obviously you guys uh, know we're not running a taunt unit, so we gotta brute force the damage here with that Roxy damage after the initial hit, right? We just gotta go for all the damage here, guys. So we're doing uh, every single target uh, that we got, right? And uh, that's kind of the idea, though, right? We gotta use single target skills so that we hit the initial damage and then uh, get the Roxy proc. Right, so we do these single targets right there. Boom, boom, boom. 
And look at that, guys. I mean, we're breezing through, right? We're already done floor two, phase two, and it's only five minutes in the video recording, man. This is crazy. So now we're on phase three. And uh, right here, we got a bunch of single targets as well. Very, very easy phase uh, considering the cards we have, right? It's just really insane. And uh, yeah, with this card set up, guys, we move into the next phase and we're already done. Like, I'm clicking cards faster than I'm, I'm thinking about it, you know? I'm not even thinking. But guys, I'm, when I'm doing this run, I'm not thinking, man. So, like, this this is uh, definitely a level up past the point of running, uh, you know, Miguel on the bird anymore. I think we've gotten to the point in the game where we can really just run anybody and, and do super well. And this is without a healer as well, guys. This is just raw brute, brute force damage, bro. This is... The most amount of damage we could just get through this fight and it's all because of you know yuri supporting the team and then Eskinor obviously with this big damage roxy with the uh damage after the initial hit and then rudy is there with the uh, follow-up damage if we need it right so that's obviously very very good guys but look at that five minutes in five minutes in and we're done floor one floor two isn't that crazy guys that's honestly like more shocking to me than uh than anything else right um, yeah guys hopping into the floor three here now This is where it starts to slow down a little bit And the only reason it starts to slow it down is because you know at this point even with the damage we're able to deal um, You know sometimes it's not enough uh, guys, right? Like th this is the phase where he starts to be super super tanky Like I think this phase one floor floor three of, of the bird is one of the tankiest phases and uh, Right here luckily because we got him in that kind of threshold and Rudius did crit right there. Regardless of the HP, would have had we would have killed. So that was really, really good right there. And in phase two, um, I think we won phase this phase as well. I think it was just a uh, you know one card per for the phase, and we just kind of killed, um, or uh, one turn. I mean, right? And uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was just right here where I, I didn't know what card to use. Yeah, I remember right here I was kind of like thinking like, oh, do I use this card or do I use this card? And I decided to use the Rudius card at the end of the day. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it was enough, though, guys, regardless, right? So, I, I wasn't really thinking too much uh, otherwise. I thought this would have been fine right here. We do the um, extra damage of Ascona right there. And I was like, okay, Rudius probably kills with that, right? AoE, boom, we get the kill. And, uh, yeah, this is where uh, things start to change a little bit, guys, on the run, right? Phase 3 is where things start to change. Because right here is where we're going to start taking a little bit of damage because we don't actually get the kill. Now, I could have got the kill this turn, definitely. Um, but I was, kinda, I was trying to prep an ultimate. Right, that was kind of the idea. I wanted to get a Rudius ultimate right there. And uh, me getting that Rudius ultimate just unfortunately didn't let me get the kill here because I just didn't do enough damage with the rest of the team. Right, so we do the single target with uh, Yuri right there. Follow up with the Rudius right there, guys. And that's going to do, what is that, 316k. But then unfortunately, Yuri there with the damage that she's able to do is just not enough for, for her specifically, guys. It's mainly for the team, right? Like, we're obviously banking on the fact that the rest of the team is able to do enough damage. And uh, unfortunately, right there, we just weren't going to uh, gonna be able to do enough. Um, right here, by the way, I don't know why the bird was attacking us. I think it's because of the type uh, typing, actually. Um, obviously, guys, the bird doesn't actually have type advantage against Esnor. He's type neutral against everyone. But the fact that he is a red attribute character makes me uh, kind of think that he went for Esnor just because, you know, Esnor is green, right? I think that's kind of the idea I'm thinking. So, yeah, I mean, that, that's a little weird right there, but... Yeah, right here, regardless, we do actually finish off this phase, and we move into the final phase, guys, and guess what passive we get on that final phase? You guys can guess, considering how much uh, the length of the video is left over, you guys can guess what passive we got, because uh, we had to do a little bit of, uh, you know, kind of brain uh, thinking here, but we did get the uh, re revive passive, guys, so uh, pretty much what happens is, uh, or this is not the revive one, this is the full heal one. Um, this one, you have to kind of gauge your damage, and I didn't gauge my damage completely well here, and I just decided, let me just rip the cards anyway, and just go for it, and uh, I think that was definitely a misplay on my part, because I probably could have reset and killed anyway, as you guys will see, like, the damage I'm doing is, like, I'm, I'm hitting damage cap, guys, like, if it wasn't for this passive, I would have one-turned this phase, like, like, look at the phase right here, right, uh, I do the AoE with Rudius, and that procs is full heal, so if I didn't have that passive, I'm easily killing, I'm easily killing, guys, super, super quickly as well, uh, but because of that, you know, Asinor does uh, take a bunch of damage here, as you guys can see. Asinor is taking a bunch of damage. And, uh, yeah, no, the bird is now having, with that 50% uh, all stats, he can life steal now. So that's obviously something to think about. And uh, right here, because we did lose Asinor, we lost 5% basic stats right there. But with the team and the ultimates we had, uh, we were actually able to finish it off, guys. So we actually did go for the double Roxy right there. Um, Roxy ultimate only being severed. It's not going to do crazy damage. Um, but the follow-up flood card, obviously, is going to do a good chunk. So we do the uh, 251 right there, and Rudius rank two with the five stacks of his uh, his uh, magic ball, uh, magic orbs, right? Um, you actually do get the kill right there, guys. So you know, obviously, if it, if it wasn't that passive at the end, I think we actually would have finished a lot faster than that. 
Um, but yeah, I mean, there is the run, guys. I mean, that's that was pretty consistent. Tell that last bit right there, I had no issues. And the only reason I had that issue there is because I just didn't gauge my damage right. If I knew exactly how much each of the, you know, hits were going to do to make sure I killed um, with him having less than 30, I, I could have easily just one turn that and have not to deal with the a death on Escalade right there. So, yeah, man. That was pretty much the run right there, guys. Very, very fast bird run. This might be the fastest bird team. And I'm going to title that the, the fastest bird team because I think it is. You know, I, I you know, if, if there's no mistakes on my end in terms of cards I use, easily you can one turn every phase. Easily. If you get good card energy as well, you can easily one turn every phase, guys. So, um, yeah, man. I mean, that's the, the run right there, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below how good Yuri actually is as a support. I think her support is uh, super valuable, man. It's it's so crazy to see how much support, uh, you know, 20% basic stats feels, but the human team was already, like, they had such good DPSs, and all they needed was that extra 20% just to, you know, cook, right? It, that's all they needed, guys. So, there you go, man. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next one, man. Peace out. Have a great rest of your day, guys. See you later, man.